How's it going guys, Persona Cheese here, and today we'll be talking about a secret boss which there are a fair few of in Persona 4 Golden. The boss in question is the Reaper who can easily be missed due to the RNG based way you find him. And naturally, because the Reaper is quite challenging, I'll also show you how to beat him, so let's get into it. Now, actually finding the Reaper is a massive pain in the ass, since you have to open 21 red chests, opening any golden chests can reset the counter, and then you'll hear the sound of chains, and if there are any red chests left in your current floor, there's a chance opening it will let you fight the Reaper. Plus, unless you've been counting how many chests you've opened, it's impossible to know when the Reaper will be in the next next chest until you've opened the 21st one. And if you leave the dungeon to save after hearing the chains, the Reaper leaves and the counter resets. So if you get unlucky in your 22nd chest, you have to start all over again. So since that can take ages and then make you do it all again because you got unlucky, there's a better way to do it that's still kinda boring but takes much less time. To do this, you'll want to go back to Yukiko's dungeon and enter it from the first floor. There won't always be 4 red chests there, which is the amount we need, so if you look at the map of the first floor and there aren't 4 chest symbols, then go back to the main hub to reset the floor and then try again. In my experience, the counter measuring how many red chests you've opened stays between different Different days, so it'll remember how many chests you opened last time you were in the TV world, meaning you'll have to keep opening chests until you hear the sound of chains, then leave the dungeon and come back before you start. Once that's done and you get the four chests, open all of them, then return to the hub and reset the floor. Repeat this process until you've opened 20 chests, then go to the main hub and save. Next, go to the fifth floor without opening any chests on the way. Once you're there, two red chests will be on the floor. Open one, and if you've done everything right, you'll hear the sound of chains that tells you the Reaper's nearby. Open the second chest, and if locks on your side, you'll be told not to open the chest, but do it anyway and the fight will start. If this doesn't happen, just reload your save and do the 5th floor part again until you find him. If you're finding this video interesting or helpful, please feel free to click the like button. So my personal recommendation is that you don't try this fight until you're level 80 or higher, or maybe level 75 if you have great armor and personas and are feeling confident. That being said, there are a few things I'd suggest you do first to make sure you're ready. First, the Reaper loves to use insta-kill moves. So you'll want to bring as many scapegoat eggplants from the garden and homunculi, which can be found in chests, as you can. As to personas, there are three things you want them to have. Good damage, the Reaper only resists light and dark, so physical or elements from fire to wind are fine. Some sort of resistance to light and or dark to prevent yourself from getting insta-killed, and no weaknesses because the Reaper has every element at its disposal. If you want a specific persona that works well here, Yoshitsune is pretty much perfect. He repels light, and if you get into level 83, he learns Hasuo Tobi, one of the most, if not the most, powerful physical moves in the game, dealing light damage to all foes eight times. Combine this with power charge, which he starts with, and you have a super damaging persona that can't be hit by the Reaper's light insta moves and has no weaknesses. For who you want to bring, obviously it depends on who you've leveled up, who is the best gear, and who's social link to max, since that'll help you a lot when the Reaper tries to strike someone's weakness. I suggest these three. Teddy has Ice Amp for damage, healing, and good support skills, which are a necessity in this fight. Yukiko has amazing fire damage plus healing, and Kanji, if you got his social link to rank 6 or higher, will have power charge, which you can combine with Primal Force if you have him at level 73 or higher for massive damage. Plus he has Mataru Kaja, and like I said, support skills are really good against the Reaper. That's my ideal team, but none of the others are really bad choices either. As for the fight itself, apart from using insta-kill moves a whole lot, the Reaper can use Argidine, Maragidine, and their Ice, Electric, and Wind equivalents, Mind Charge, Megadolion, physical skills like Vile Assault and Myriad Arrows, and all the break skills. But in my experience, for some reason he never follows up a break skill by using that element against them, I'm not really sure why. He can also use Life and Spirit Drain, but they really aren't a big deal. The ones you really have to worry about are anything he uses after Mind Charge, Megadolion, Myriad Arrows, elemental moves that someone's weak to, and of course, Mahamayana Mamadun. Just keep healing, but and debuffing when it's necessary, and abuse the hell out of mind charge and power charge wherever possible to deal more damage. And if you want to see the hardest boss in Persona 4 Golden, then watch this video too.